From this video, you can get Microsoft DP600 real questions for your test preparation. 1. You have a fabric tenant that contains a machine learning model registered in a fabric workspace. You need to use the model to generate predictions by using the predict function in a fabric notebook. Which two languages can you use to perform model scoring? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note, each correct answer is worth one point. A. T SQL B DAX EC C Spark SQL D Pi Spark Answer C D 2. You have a fabric tenant that contains a Microsoft Power BL report named Report 1. Report 1 includes a Python visual. Data displayed by the visual is grouped automatically and duplicate rows are not displayed. You need all rows to appear in the visual. What should you do? A. Reference the columns in the Python code by index. B. Modify the sort column by property for all columns. C. Add a unique field to each row. D. Modify the summarize by property for all columns. Answer. C. 3. You have a fabric workspace that contains a direct query semantic model. The model queries a data source that has 500 million rows. You have a Microsoft Power BL report named Report 1 that uses the model. Report. Contains visuals on multiple pages. You need to reduce the query execution time for the visuals on all the pages. What are two features that you can use? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct answer is worth one point. A. User-defined aggregations. B. Automatic aggregation. C. Query caching. D1 Lake integration. Answer. A. B. 4. You have a fabric tenant that uses a Microsoft Tower BL premium capacity. You need to enable scale out for a semantic model. What should you do first? A. At the semantic model level, set large dataset storage format to off. B. At the tenant level, set create and use metrics to enabled. C. At the semantic model level, set large dataset storage format to on. D. At the tenant level, set data activator to enabled. Answer. C. 5. You have a fabric tenant that contains a semantic model. The model uses direct lake mode. You suspect that some DAX queries load unnecessary columns into memory. You need to identify the frequently used columns that are loaded into memory. What are two ways to achieve the goal? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct answer is worth one point. A. Use the Analyze in Excel feature. B. Use the VertiPack Analyzer tool. C. Query the dollar system. Discovered underscore storage underscore table underscore column in underscore segments dynamic management view, DMV. D. Query the discover underscore he hori 6 rant dynamic management view, DMV. Answer. B. C. 6. You have a fabric tenant that contains a semantic model. 
You need to prevent report creators from populating visuals by using implicit measures. What are two tools that you can use to achieve the goal? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note, each correct answer is worth one point. A. Microsoft Power by Desktop B. Tabular Editor C. Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio SSMS D. DAX Studio Answer A. B. 7. You have a fabric tenant that contains a lake house named Lake House 1. Lake House 1 contains a subfolder named Subfolder 1 that contains CSV files. You need to convert the CSV files into the Delta format that has V order optimization enabled. What should you do from Lake House Explorer? A. Use the Load to Tables feature. B. Create a new shortcut in the Files section. C. Create a new shortcut in the Tables section. D. Use the Optimize feature. Answer. A. 8. You have a fabric tenant that contains a lake house named Lake House 1. Lake House 1 contains an unpartitioned table named Table 1. You plan to copy data to Table 1 and partition the table based on a date column in the source data. You create a copy activity to copy the data to Table 1. You need to specify the partition column in the destination settings of the copy activity. What should you do first? A. From the Destination tab, set mode to Append. B. From the Destination tab, select the Partition column. C. From the Source tab, select Enable Partition Discovery. D. From the Destination tab, set mode to Overwrite. Answer. B. 9. You have a fabric tenant that contains a warehouse. Several times a day, the performance of all warehouse queries degrades. You suspect that fabric is throttling the compute used by the warehouse. What should you use to identify whether throttling is occurring? A. The capacity settings. B. The monitoring hub. C. Dynamic Management Views, DMVs D. The Microsoft Fabric Capacity Metrics App Answer B. 10. You need to create a data loading pattern for a Type 1 slowly changing dimension, SCD. Which two actions should you include in the process? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct answer is worth one point. A. Update rows when the non-key attributes have changed. B. Insert new rows when the natural key exists in the dimension table, and the non-key attribute values have changed. C. Update the effective end date of rows when the non-key attribute values have changed. D. Insert new records when the natural key is a new value in the table. Answer. A. D.